Hello, I'm John Einberger, Product Line Manager here at Makino. Today I'm going to talk to you about a new combination for us, the N25XA Horizontal Machining Center and our new Microcell B80 Pallet Handling System. We're going to be showing this combination at IMTS 2024 and we strongly encourage you to come see it in person and we'd like to talk with you more about it there. So just a picture of the two pieces of equipment married up to each other. Again, the Microcell B80 is new to Makino Mason's customer base and it services machines like the N2. From a layout perspective, looking at the top view, this of course is the N25XA, very compact machining center. And in this case, with the layout that we're gonna to take to IMTS, the Microcell B80 sitting in front of the machine, handling pallets into and out of that uh, machining center. Looking at the side, the cross section, a uh, cutaway view of the N2. Uh, what you see in blue is the feeder arm of the Microcell B80 uh, transporting a payload into the machine. In green, uh, this depicts the payload size. Uh, we're going to be using it in combination with the Aroa ITS 148 pallets. And that result of the machine, the B80, and the Aroa pallets allows us a workpiece size of 150 by 150 millimeters times 140 millimeters tall. Looking at some of the demo work that we're gonna be running at IMTS, again, on the right, what I'm showing is the ITS 148 pallet up top and the uh, PowerChuck P also from Aroa that will be handling um, the holding of that pallet as well as on the left, one of the demos that we're gonna be running is a titanium bone plate. We'll also have inside of the B80 since it can store multiple pallets, a variety of different static displays. A little bit about the N25XA in case you're not familiar with this machining center platform. Uh, the machine is really targeted towards a number of different markets, including medical components, aero engine components that are compact in nature, and also some of the more compact metal injected or die cast aluminum components. From a stroke standpoint, it's a 300 millimeter by 300 millimeter by 230 millimeter machine. It's a five axis platform with an A axis capable of 160 degrees of total motion with a B axis sitting on top of A that's unlimited 360 degrees of motion. The machine is a stacked axis design. Uh, by that I mean that the X axis sits on top of the column. The column moves up and down for the Y axis and the Z axis moves on top of that same column in and out. From a kinematic standpoint, it's a three point level machine, very consistent with a lot of products in the Makino HMC lineup. So from a customer perspective, easy installation of the platform, a very rigid base and no re-leveling maintenance required over time. Being a five axis machine, uh, we do use a trunnion style setup with the N2. It's a very rigid integral trunnion with the A axis, again, 160 degrees of total motion, 120 degrees towards the spindle, and then 40 degrees back away from the spindle with a rotation speed of up to 30 RPM. The B axis sits on top of the A, a complete unlimited 360 degree motion with a rotation speed up to 150 RPM. From a work zone perspective of the N2 as a standalone entity, it's 300 millimeter diameter by 270 millimeters tall with a spherical radius on top. And the total payload capacity of the work holding fixture, um, the payload, uh, the workpiece itself, a uh, total of that 30 kilograms payload capacity. So pretty generous from the standpoint of the size of the workpiece you can fit in the machine. The spindle in the N2 is a 20,000 RPM unit. Very quick acceleration, zero to 20K in less than a second, same from 20K back down to zero. The interface between the tool and the spindle is HSK A40. From a power standpoint, up to 7.5 kilowatts of power and up to 14.9 newton meters of torque. Through spindle coolant is standard on the platform at 320 PSI. Uh, very, very helpful from the standpoint of chip clearing during the types of operations that this machine typically is used in. From a tool change capacity in the N2, 36 tools is a standard. Uh, it's an armless design, meaning that the tools go directly into the magazine. 
uh, the magazine rotates and the next, po next tool is pulled out of that magazine. The machine is equipped with a tool load station with a HMI for data input right adjacent to that tool load station. So easy tool management data coming into and out of the machine. From a chip management standpoint, it's a very open design machine. When you look at the machining area, direct drop of chips and coolant right down into the chip conveyor that extends up into the machine. That conveyor is a center trough design and coolant filtration is two systems, uh, standard on the machine, a drum filter with continuous backwash that'll take you down to the 50 micron region. Also standard on the machine, Cyclonic, that takes you down to 20 micron level of filtration uh, to service the through spindle coolant system. From a floor space standpoint, a very compact machine, uh, the total uh, floor space required, including the chip conveyor, 54 square feet. If we think about this relative to a typical 400 millimeter machining center, in the same space that's required to get five typical 400 millimeters, we can put 10 of the N2s, so double the number of spindles. From a control standpoint, the N2 features the Makino Pro 6 control, uh, runs on top of a Fanuc 31i based CNC, very user friendly, very simple to navigate. Standard on the N2, given the nature of the machine being a full five-axis platform, it comes standard with the Makino Super Geometric Intelligence dot five contour machining control, as well as collision safeguard. From a key technology standpoint, to uh, wrap up the discussion about the N2, it's a stacked axis design, very compact footprint, very rigid machine. True three-point leveling, so no maintenance of the machine alignment over time. Direct drive motors on the two rotary axes, the A and the B. 20,000 RPM spindle, very high acceleration, deceleration capability, plus through spindle coolant standard. And a 36 tool magazine, coupled with a Pro 6 control with super geometric intelligence and collision safeguard. You can find out a lot more about the N2 in a previous Experience Center event that I was able to host. Um, if you go to the makino.com webpage, if you go to resources, if you look at webinar archives, up in the search area, you can search very simply on N2, look at past Experience Center events, and then it'll pull up uh, the particular one that I'm showing here behind me. The date of that uh, was March 27th, 2023. Now a little bit about the Microcell B80. Um, what is it? Uh, new product from Makino for our uh, Makino Mason customers that would be in North America and South America. Uh, very simply put, it's a box type three axis robot. It's a product of Makino Asia, so built in our Singapore facility. And really its core use is to transfer work pieces on pallets both to the machine and back from the machine and store them inside in pallet stocker stands until uh, the uh, user of the system is ready to interface with that particular pallet. From a setup standpoint, the B80 can service either one or two machines with a max payload of 80 kilograms uh, for each of the pallet workpiece combinations that it's sending to or from the machine. And it supports the use of multiple types of end of arm tooling to interface with a variety of different pallet types. What I'm showing here is the setup that we will have at IMTS that again is the Aroa ITS 148 pallet with a gripper. Now the gripper in the B80 does come standard with a gripper changer. So you could use multiple different gripper types within the B80 to handle a variety of different pallet types. What we use to facilitate that is an Aroa MGS type that's on the arm of the robot, coupled with an Aroa gripper link on the gripper size side to interface with that MGS. From a pallet pickup perspective, looking a little bit again at the end of arm tooling that we'll have at IMTS, compatible with the Aroa ITS 148, it grips the pallets directly around that perimeter of the pallet and it has built-in sensors to detect its clamp-unclamp status. 
Other design types are uh, possible as one example, uh, compatible with the Aroa ITS-72 palette, the System 3R macro uh, type payload, uh, et cetera. Uh, we really can design a gripper to work with pretty much any palette type solution that's out there. From a compatibility standpoint with machining centers in the Makina lineup as it sits today, compatible with our F3 or F5 vertical machining centers, compatible with our PS65 or PS105 vertical machining centers, also with our D200Z vertical machining center, and what I just laid out here, compatible with our N2 5XA horizontal machining center. We look forward to seeing you at IMTS 2024 so we can show this system to you in person and uh, we'll take your questions there. So thank you for joining us today. And again, we look forward to seeing you soon.